Come have fun with us and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody, I'm Rick. And I'm Anna. And welcome to our reaction to Naruto Shippuden episode 175. Welcome. Anna. Yes. Naruto and Naruto Shippuden are anime that are part of our bucket list of 101 anime we want to watch in our lifetime. Uh, and we've had it those because you hadn't watched them. Yeah. I had. Uh, and so we've been enjoying, or I've been enjoying watching you through this journey uh, of Naruto. And last time we saw Nagato finishing his story, mm. Naruto giving his answer, which was more of a, uh, wasn't a specific answer to how to solve these issues of uh, hatred and peace, but more of a believe in me as Jiraiya believed in me. Or as he and used as to believe used in to yourself, believe in, yeah, uh, yeah. Um, which Nagato seeing himself a lot in Naruto, especially through that book. That book uh, really important. Yeah, uh, decided to to do just that to believe in Naruto that Naruto would eventually mm. figure something out, uh, would eventually or would never stop striving for peace, which right. is the most important uh, part. And at the end, he did some jutsu. You don't know what's happening. You, you still have uh, yeah, some I'm questions. Yeah, I'm that. not sure yeah. what that is. I mean, I'm assuming now it's something good because, I mean, he, he was very truthful there at the end. So mm. I'm assuming he's trying to do something good, but I'm just not sure what. <laughs> yeah. Another interesting tidbit, uh, as the, the old frog was watching, it was saying like, huh, never would have thought that it's actually both students. Yeah. Child of the prophecy. I think it's also very interesting that it's so important that part of the prophecy was that he told Jeraya that he would travel the world and write books. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it was like a book that he wrote, his first book, actually, his first novel that meant so much that brought these two together, you know, mm -hmm. that helped them and really helped them understand each other because it was the fact that Naruto had read Nagato's words in the book that you know made them like be able to connect like that. To connect uh, on a deeper level and Nagato remembering uh, that the, book and remembering his old words right. and remembering that that was him who said that who believed like that he used to be Naruto yeah exactly he used to be Naruto but so many horrible things happened to him mm. uh, that he swayed from the path that Naruto is promising to never sway from mm. uh, again that's the important part no yeah. matter how hard it gets always strive for the best for peace uh, we'll see I, I I'm wondering now like you know, if Nagato's uh, jutsu that he's performing right now is going to end up somehow helping, you know, the situation that he created, what will the people get from it? You know, will they, will at least some of them stop and think, oh, he was, Naruto was, was right, you know, just, just talk to the guy. Mm, like, what will his legacy be? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, also like, as when he met with the three, with the three ninja in the forest, you know, um, Ino's father was so uh, like, Adam at about, Adam, like yeah. what do you mean talk to him we have to go there and kill him mm -hmm. you know but Naruto insisted that he wanted to talk and to realize that in the end it, it worked it mm -hmm. was much better to just go and talk to him and that is maybe a small part in this whole you know puzzle of stopping the cycle yeah, of hatred exactly. if you don't talk to the enemy that there's no way of even starting to stop this cycle exactly, right exactly exactly and it's a difficult thing to do like i'd imagine for naruto and for anyone it would have been difficult to just go there and stay in front of him and just hear him out after what he had done mm -hmm. but if you don't like brace yourself and like at least try then you you, you it's like you said you know it's like you you lost because you never really played the yeah. game <laughs> like just give it a try mm -hmm. well let us see what this episode has in store for us. Oh, yes! Kakashi, come on! Go back to life! He said die. No. <gasps> Is it gonna be Nagato's uh, jutsu? Is he going to bring him back? That's messed up to find this scene. Yeah. Of course you would have.
It's nice. Must have been like it must mean so much to him, you know, to hear that. This made me sad now. Oh, there it is! Is that Jutsu? Oh, it is! Oh, I can't believe it! It's all the ones that that he had taken the the souls out of, like that. No, no just like who died. He just brought them all back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's freaky. Oh, the old frog. Like that's such a a big gesture to to do at the end, you know. These people are traumatized now. Yeah. Oh, she's on it too. He did, Konohamaru. Naruto no Wow. Oh wow, he turned white. His hair? Yeah. Konohanikitorengayametamunutachinaramadamaniya. So Kakashi was Kakashi dead. Kakashi was dead. He would have died without that at the end. I'm actually more sad now that he, I know he would have died. But like he also got to have this precious moment with his dad. Look at that! He's back! Can you? Ah, uh, yeah, because it's the... Yeah, she's there. Yeah, she's Naruto. there. She's everywhere. There's a lot of meaning to bringing them back because he knows what it means to yeah to lose people yeah, and how the other people would take it yeah he passed it on ah Nagato will be missed this was like awesome, so awesome. Oh, and now she's alone. So it's you, Sreda Kaino. Hey, Kono Pain Tendo Koso. Two friends. She's the only one left. <laughs> I got something to say about that. About what? That she's leaving Akatsuki? No. That she was only there for them. Hmm. By now, like it's the same thing, you know. You we all put all this pressure pressure onto another kid. Oh wow. 
That's really cool though to acknowledge him like that too, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, <gasps> that's nice. I have to think that, you know, if they believe in an afterlife, he would, he would say now that Jedi is finally at peace. Yeah, I didn't think about that, but he fought a lot. Yeah, hard days at <laughs> it's work. It's wasted. Yeah. And he came into it right... Oh! Oh, it's Kakashi! Lean on me! <laughs> Oh, that's such a nice moment. Yeah. It's touching. Make everyone in the village That's acknowledge That's what I was going to say! <laughs> oh. Once there, the old frogs are there, they're so proud. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> By himself, that's crazy. Huh? And in a way that really no one else in this village would have tried. You used to hate him. Yeah. Don't think I don't remember. He's acknowledging it himself. Wow, like that whole time, you know. But they saw the progress little yeah, by little, slowly. you know. And they they call him Fox Kid. You. Yeah, they don't even like call him by name. I mean, it's great that he never gave up, but you really didn't have to make it that hard for him. And now they're saying Uzumaki Naruto. Yeah. yeah. Like, that was, I think, his first, like, great achievement, you know? Defeating Gara. Yeah. These people are always gossiping, huh? Yeah. That's <laughs> what they do. Oh, look at this. Like, Iruka is always there, you know? Never really, like, interfering. Mm. And they started worrying for yeah, him. Yeah, they started know. caring about him a little bit. Naruto 
Like, it's so crazy when you put them all back to back, you know, all the things he's done. Mm-hmm. He did it through his hard work. He never gave yeah. up. Oh, it was the third Okage who like, made Iruka look after him. I understand where Naruto comes from. Yeah. Again, if the hope of the fort was that he'd be seen as a hero, you yeah. could have done a bit more for that to happen. But now he is. a little bit. Now he is. Look at him. Mm. He did it! Mm. Oh. The hero of the leaf. I'm crying so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so beautiful. Mm. Like, it's crazy, you know, how much this means to him. You have to remember, right? What was it? Episode 3 where he, uh, they do the presentation. It's like, my dream is to become Okage and yeah. to have everyone acknowledge me, you know? And you but look at that's this the now. thing, you know, like, sure, he's, he put it like that. Like, I want to become Okage. But it's the acknowledgement that, that he wanted, you know? Yeah. The main reason to become okay yeah, was exactly. for the acknowledgement. Yeah, and and he got it now. Mm. You know, it's like wow, that's so beautiful. It's crazy when you think about it, like the the power of it, like how much this should mean to the story as a whole. You know, now, of course he's gonna keep fighting. You know, there's gonna be like other people who will come in, but like the meaning of this moment of I, I don't mean this moment uh, with the people but uh, what he did with Nagato mm. you know the fact that he managed to change the mind of someone who was already like so far down his path mm -hmm. you know to make him not only just like doubt or and I guess there's something to be said about the fact that also Nagato really was looking for a better answer he just never found a better one you know mm. but even then you know to just convince him to believe in you like we just with the conversation with listening to him to be able to to make him like not only give up on his plans but also do like what you know what he did he brought everyone back mm -hmm. yeah like it's it's also like the fact that he brought everyone back is so meaningful because of like like he said in the end you know like this you you'll want to think that there's a meaning to it but if this keeps happening you'll only see like the death and the pain because that's all there is you know yeah it's like just it's meaningless the hatred the yeah. hate exactly so like in in undoing that it's like he took away some of that pain from the people that they would have lived with mm -hmm. from that point on yeah so kakashi was dead as were a lot of people lots of people were dead I and mean, when yeah, you see all the yeah the the souls going back you're like oh wow he killed i was i was sure kakashi would come back but i was sure he would just come back no matter what mm -hmm. but like now that i see this i realize like oh no he actually was dead <laughs> like if if nagata hadn't done that he wouldn't have mm -hmm. made it oh that's crazy right and that was that like moment there with kakashi and the and his father it, it was just like a, a little scene but it it was so it must have been so meaningful so important to his father to have someone tell him like i understand what you did and i'm proud of you you know because he made that choice believing that it was the right choice to make mm -hmm. but then everybody told him that he was that wrong. It was, he was wrong in mm -hmm. what he did you know like so, so much so that it pushed him to such yeah they shun him they, yeah, yeah exactly so like to have his own son come and say you know what happened to you affected me so much but 
I understand you and I, I agree with you and I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. Like it, it must have taken like such a, a burden off his shoulder, you know? Yeah. It's a lot of growth on Kakashi's part too, because yeah. we saw his flashback. We saw how at first he interpreted the whole thing. Yeah, right? exactly. Uh, it was very much against what his father had done and yeah. now stuck with like, you have to follow the rules mm -hmm. at all, by all means. Right? Yeah. So, you know, Conan left uh, with the, the, the two body of her, her old comrades there. This is the end for her pain, it seems. Mm. It's dead, Nagato. Yeah. Um, a character that has so much influence uh, on the story, on the, uh, the events of the show. Um, he was, in many ways, bigger than life, right? Yeah. He's the one, like, if, even if you consider, like, how Orochimaru impacted the village in terms of threat or stuff like that, or pain or slash Nagato was the one who caused the most destruction, mm. you know, was at the head of Akatsuki. Yeah. He, he was a big part of that whole storyline, right? Yeah. And now he's gone. Where do you think we go from here? I mean, I think Madara will just, you know, continue with with what he was doing and with Akatsuki because mm. really sure pain was at the head of it but Madara was actually at the head of it <laughs> so mm. he's just gonna keep doing that I think he's gonna feel uh, well not necessarily betrayed but disappointed that his plan didn't work out you know that in the end uh, he didn't get the the nine tail fox with the mm -hmm. with the help of uh, pain so i think he'll just like move on to whatever is the next step in his plan okay like on that side i i don't know what that will be but i think that's just what's gonna happen okay. i also don't like him very much right now so i i don't expect it to be anything nice <laughs> why what uh madara yeah why because he lied oh about the fox yeah hmm. It's it's it changes the way I view his character so much, you know, mm. because I like these kind of characters who are like, you know, like pain. But I also saw Madara the same before. Like, here's what's going on. This like this is what I've done. But here's my truth, you know, and it's it's kind of like even if you don't agree with what they're doing and everything, you can't really deny what has happened to them. Yeah. You know, but then if you do that you can empathize you can, you can understand yeah. but if you do that you can't lie like mm. if you lie it kind of like it takes away from it you know it takes away from it so much because mm -hmm. that's the whole point you know is that you can try to justify your horrible acts because by like when you tell your your truth people understand it the viewers understand it you know mm -hmm. that's that's the whole point of it when you lie about what your truth is then you can't justify anything anymore. What about Itachi? He lied about uh, what the truth was. About what? About everything. Well, Hitachi, yeah, but he lied to Sasuke. <laughs> yes, but he did it the other way around. Mm. You know, his truth was actually not as bad as what the lie was. Mm -hmm. You know, like he he told the a worse lie in order to like achieve a better um, ending mm -hmm. than what had actually happened, you know. That, that works, it's, it's kind of like the opposite. And I'm not saying obviously that now that everything that Madara said is a lie or that suddenly you don't care anymore about, you know, everything that he had been through before. I'm just saying, like, for his character, it changes so much the way I view him as a character when I know that he lied about something so important. Well, yeah. Pain is gone. He shall be missed. But now we have to keep going, mm. uh, move on to other things. And if you want to be there for the reactions we have to those future episodes, we invite you to subscribe to this channel. The button is down below. Like this video if you did. Comment in the comment section below. And have, have a nice, nice day. day.